Painting for me has become almost a meditative exercise in a lot of ways. I was bemoaning the fact that, that we don't have a lot of mountains and streams and rivers and, and those typical things that people love to paint in Lubbock. And this good friend of mine said, paint what excites you, paint what you know, paint what you're passionate about, and paint what you enjoy. I love to paint things that are, uh, are, are rural and, and, and sort of almost mundane in a lot of ways, but they have a story to tell. Watercolor is a very interesting medium. It's a transparent medium, which means that means we paint from our lightest values to our darkest values, and we layer them on top. We have to think ahead, and if we want something to be white, we have to not paint it instead of paint it. Talk to a lot of my oil painter friends, and they always say, why in the world would you paint in watercolor? It's too hard, you know, it's too difficult. It's, you know, it's not predictable, it's not controllable. And I think that's what I like about it, actually. It's active and it's ever-changing and it's, it's intuitive in a lot of ways. You have to be thinking ahead. You have to be reacting to what happens. And then at the end of the day, it is just paper. And if it's a total flop, you just throw it away. But when it happens right, it's, it's, it's magical. It really is. I grew up in, in West Texas for the most part, and so I've, I've always been drawn to, to those stories that, that you see played out in structures, old farmhouses. I love to imagine the stories that happened around some of these places that we all drive by. So I drive by uh, an abandoned farmhouse, and I start wondering about the people that live there people that built that place, the life that they had, you know, start imagining uh, how many children did they raise there? Did they have a happy life? Was it a sad life? What was it? I live in West Texas and we got long horizons. We have the land. And so I paint the sky and I paint the land and it's that point where the sky and the horizon intersect with what man has done there that always kind of gets my attention. So it's the old farmhouse, it's the grazing cattle, it's the grain elevator, it's the things that I see every day that I drive by and I think, I'd like to, I'd like to capture that. I don't have a lot of inborn natural ability, natural talent. I've just got a lot of desire. I just enjoy it so much. This inborn talent is way oversold. Uh, I mean, it's, it's overrated. What you need to do is enjoy it and do it and learn from it. And you'll be amazed at what you could do. I preach all the time is, is, man, if you haven't painted, you need to try it. You know, if you haven't created, you need to create something. If you haven't found an outlet where you can express yourself well, you need to because I think it's something that's in all of us.